What's up everyone? Sorry for not regularly uploading nowadays. I'm running a little bit out of content. And this is normal because it's summer right now and we moth breeders in summer tend to have what I call the summer dip. That's because in spring many moths hatch from their overwintering eggs or cocoons and they reproduce. Um, they grow to adulthood and um, pupate. And the second generations they often hatch around summer. But uh, there's this small period in between spring and summer um, in which the second generations can hatch and in which it's still too early to get a real good summer species. And this period is when there's relatively very few uh, insects. So uh, the same may happen as well in captivity. Remember that hour long video where I showed you all my caterpillars that I uploaded like one and a half month ago? Well, all the species you saw in this video, they have already cocooned. But uh, I haven't seen any, uh, any adult moths resulting from uh, all those broods yet. So that means later this year, all of those caterpillars are going to turn into moths. But meanwhile, while we wait, there's very little to do relatively. So uh, all we can do is wait for more, uh, more to hatch soon and maybe order some eggs. So you won't be bored. So what we're looking at is an amazing species, really. Um, although I cannot tell you its scientific name for some reason. Uh, you see, this is a mystery species of leopard moth. And I got the eggs from Cameroon. That means it's an African species of leopard moth. But that's all the info I can, can give you right now. Because uh, I haven't been able to ID it. I haven't had many proper pictures of the adults. And it's only when these moths hatch that I may be, may be able to identify them. Otherwise it's going to be a surprise. Although uh, leopard moths are not the most colorful insects in the world compared to the Saturnids and uh, popular stuff like this. But I like them because their caterpillars can have amazing behaviors and colors and forms like the ones I have here. Usually they're more spectacular than Saturnid moth uh, caterpillars. So, uh, the moths are a little bit more boring though. Usually they're a little bit brown and generic. But uh, hey, I don't breed moths just for their prettiness or their color. It's also because I find their biology interesting and not because they look pretty. So uh, second of all, I'm really enjoying leopard moth caterpillars. They are the biggest, uh, most baddest, badass caterpillars out there. Now this species here, you may see that the caterpillars, they look very much like moss or lichen, whatever it is that you can see. And they like to congregate together here on these branches. And basically form a huge clump of caterpillars. See, if I touch this, you will see that there's actually many caterpillars here sitting together in uh, batches. Some even on top of each other. And this is probably very good camouflage. Uh, you know, they blend in really well together with their color variations. It's really convincing. It uh, really looks like one big, big batch of uh, moss or lichen or fungus, whatever. So, um, it probably helps them thermoregulate as well. I mean, they're probably nice and cozy and warm in here. But just look at that. It's such an amazing uh, unknown species. And here in the bottom is actually a quite big caterpillar. See, this one here. I don't know how, how big this species can get if fully grown. Probably have a few instars more to go. But uh, yeah, these uh, guys are definitely what I want to show you today, man. They're so amazing. So well, this is Bart here, again on his socks in his garden. Just vlogging about my insects. Sorry I have to keep you waiting. Uh, one reason it's gotten quiet is because of the summer dip that I just told you. But there's also other reasons. I'm working on a few long-term projects. Uh, really, I'm talking about my first documentaries. Uh, my first long-term videos that take me months to make. Uh, they're going to be my best quality videos so far. But they're only going to be finished in October. So uh, it's going to take me about three or four months to finish all of this. But I hope all of you will like and subscribe and keep watching this channel and see what happens when they are finished. Hopefully... This will bring my channel to a new level. Thanks and goodbye.